Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name's Tiffany. Today I'm going to be comparing the Toiletry Pouch 26 and the new model, the Posh Toilet NM Toiletry Bag. So if you are interested then keep on watching and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and check out my Instagram and let's get right into this. So we'll start with the Toiletry Pouch 26. To begin with I'll just go over both the pieces and then compare them together. So the Toiletry Pouch 26, I got hold of this on the 9th of January last year, 2021. I got it for £360. At the time I had no idea it was going to be discontinued, so I feel even more lucky to have a piece now that's not being made anymore by Louis Vuitton. This piece I did get just before the price increase as well, so I was quite happy. So yeah, £360 this was last year, um, early January. This piece has one piece of canvas like that on the sides the monogram canvas on the sides the untreated leather here it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France and my favorite part the buttery smooth zip that just glides so perfectly I really hate grabbing the tab because I hate when it gets like um, watermarks and stuff on it I'm gonna actually spray it to help protect it against like watermarks and stuff but oh. yeah the buttery smooth zip it's my absolute favorite part this is extremely lightweight it's very like you can squeeze it it's quite malleable it's it keeps its shape on these parts where it's got the stitching but other than that it's quite light and you can move it around let's go to the inside now inside as you can see it has the wipeable lining, they used to call it, the wipeable lining. You can see it's quite textured, so it won't like look bad of any wear and tear. It feels like you could scratch it and it wouldn't leave a mark. Oh, in there I've just got the product code and the card. I forgot these were in there because usually I have um, my insert on top I took it out just for the sake of the video but I'll pop it in in a moment so you can see the difference it makes but yeah on the inside it's just the wipeable lining and that was it a very nice easy piece that you can get a lot of use out of I will put in the insert so you can see I always forget how flimsy it feels without the insert I'm so used to having that in and it feeling like a lot more durable. I like to use this as a makeup bag but because of course my foundation and things are my colour, I'm always worried about actually staining this. So I use the insert to keep my foundation and concealer and all that sort of things safe in there because I'd rather <laughs> ruin this than the actual inside of the lining. This lining insert I got from Etsy. It does have the D rings on, which I haven't used before, but if I did, I'd probably get one of the shorter straps because I really like how people do um, with the shorter straps and style it. I think it looks so cool. But anyway, here is the toiletry pouch. Now, let's get out the newer version, the Posh Toilet NM Toiletry Bag. This came out a few weeks ago now. And I think this piece is absolutely stunning. One of my favorite features is the fact that this part is black leather so I feel like I can grab it hold it and not feel worried about messing it up at all I feel like black leather does look quite chic I'll give a quick overview so again one sheet of monogram canvas then on this part we've got the leather and then on the edges we've got the piping here which gives such a nice finish. The zip doesn't feel as buttery smooth as that one. It's a bit stiff, but I feel like maybe it's because it's new. I don't know, we'll see over time. But yes, the inside of this one has the pocket, again, the it on card has the inside pocket here it says made in France in there and then we've got the card slots let's 
Let's see if that will focus. There we go. You've got the card slots there. So one, two, three, four, and they're just normal standard card sizes. So yeah. Now let's put the two together. So here they are, side by side. The canvas on this is slightly darker, but that just may be this piece in particular. That's the thing with monogram canvas, different um, pieces, sometimes lighter or darker. But this one is a bit noticeable that it's darker. Okay, I've zoomed in so we can get up close and personal and look at some of the details here. Let's start with the leather tabs. Me personally, I'm just a fan of treated leather. Although this looks nice, I just hate the feeling of having to be careful and I like to moisturise my hands and then feel like, oh wait, I better not touch that. I did say earlier that I'm going to get like that sort of protectant spray that people use on it, but yeah, this for me just feels a lot more durable. It's shiny, it's durable, you can touch it and have no problems. So yeah, this is a win for me. I'm going to get my ruler and measure how long the tabs are here because this one does feel slightly longer. I'll zip it up so I can see. So this one, yeah, that's about eight and a half centimeters. I believe this one is shorter, but let's see if it's just my eyes. Maybe it is just my eyes, or maybe it does seem like maybe a few millimetres shorter. But yeah, this one just feels, maybe because this one stays down a bit more, it feels like it's longer. This one does sort of stand out, if you can see that. This one just sits down fine, and then this one sort of sticks out like that, but I guess maybe that would change over time. Or maybe it's that way because of the zip. Let's move on to the zips. The, I believe it's brass, but it's gold coloured. And then the zip has the LV detail on there. It does look a bit scratched up from my own wear and tear, but it feels secure. And the zip is buttery smooth. It's so easy and smooth. The posh toilet, the zip on here, I'll quickly give that a wipe. <laughs> it's got all my grubby fingerprints on. Here we are, you can see it's in focus. The zip has Louis Vuitton written on here. This zipper is shiny, polished gold coloured rather than this more matte kind of finish. I mean, it's not a major factor to me. I guess this is less maintenance because this one I literally had to shine because my fingerprints look so grubby on it when I zoomed in. But this one, yeah, it's just a bit easy. You don't think about the wear and tear a bit. The zip, I think, yes, this is thicker. This zip is thicker, whereas this one is quite thin and smooth. I guess it's, I don't know what it is about it. I, as I said, maybe it's because it's new, but it's just a bit, like a bit more pull has to go into it. Whereas the toiletry pouch zip is effortless. But together, what do you guys think? Which zip? do you prefer? This is like more of an actual Louis Vuitton handbag kind of zip whereas this is like more of a small leather goods kind of zip like my um, mini pochette has this zip as well. The toiletry pouch 26 is just stitching on the edges here there's no piping or anything just pressed together and stitched whereas the posh toilette has this lovely piping along the edges this does give it a more elevated feel to me i guess for this it's always in my bag the toiletry pouch so i never thought about the edges of this whereas 
this does feel more like a okay, I can more like a handbag sort of feel to it. I guess the piping on the edges does elevate the look of it a lot more for me personally. And then the leather. What do you guys think? I love how this is all monogram canvas. At the same time, I can't decide. I love the leather on this. I feel like it just brings it up another level. It just makes it feel more like a handbag to me, having the leather on the sides. And this does feel a lot more sturdy because of the leather. It gives it a lot more shape. Whereas this, without my insert, was a lot more squishy. I feel like it feels a lot more durable. Although this leather is so soft, it does feel like you could scratch it and it'd leave a horrible mark. But it does make it feel more firm, more secure, more like, I feel like I could hold this and like feel like my things are secure. But anyway, let's move on to the inside. With the wipeable lining, it does feel low maintenance. Again, I'm just a bit extra. I'm worried about makeup stains, so that's why I use the insert. But the texture, it does feel low maintenance, easy to wipe, no pockets. It goes right into the corners. You can see the canvas folded in a bit where it's been stitched. So no like actual other lining or anything, just very much basic. Where is the posh toilette? An M toiletry bag. If we compare the insides. This has the pocket, which I guess if you haven't organized it, isn't a major deal. The pocket and the card slots. They're not like life-changing storage kind of things. Like I guess if you didn't want to carry a purse and things, that way it's not like an endless sack. Having the card slots is helpful, but it's not like particularly massive that you'd notice and you use them a lot. I feel like everybody carries purses and things now. So card slots, I guess, are good if your purse wouldn't fit in this. If you use like a small kind of purse, or didn't have a card holder or anything, I don't know. Personally, card slots are not that major of a deal for me, but I guess if I was using this as a clutch on a night out or something, I didn't need to carry my whole purse, it would be handy. But yeah, as I said, having an organizer, you've then got all those sort of things and a zip, even in this one. So I guess it's not that life-changing to have. The dark leather, on the inside, as you can see, it's treated. It sort of feels like Safiano leather. It does feel really durable, like you couldn't scratch it or anything. It does feel like it can handle a lot of wear and tear. And the lining is all on the insides. Looks very dark, there we go. All over, all inside, it's all black leather. With the pricing, this piece costs £755. I guess having more leather on it does increase the price since it's lined in leather and has leather sides. I mean, it is double. So, yeah, not as attractive as this was. This was such an easy breezy price, whereas this is like double, essentially, and is not, I think, not enough differences that I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is worth double. But again, that could just be me. Somebody else could find this and be like, yes, this is perfect for the price. But let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of people are really happy they got hold of this, so they don't have to pay this price, but some people are happier to have this piece. But let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna quickly weigh them, because this does feel heavier, but I just wanna see exactly how much. So I've just weighed this. It was just over 300 grams. So it does definitely feel heavier. Let's see what this weighs. And this piece was just over 160 grams. So again, it weighs nearly double. So do keep that in mind. I guess with the liner, but even then still, the liner is so airy. It basically weighs nothing. But keep in mind that this is quite a heavy piece. I think with clutches, I prefer when they're lighter because you are going to be literally holding it like this. Or I guess if you have it underneath like that, but this piece in particular 
is heavier compared to the toiletry pouch. So let's look at the overall size. The posh toilet and M toiletry bag does feel ever so slightly bigger. The issue is with the toiletry pouch being discontinued, you can't see on the website page what the actual measurements are, but I've got a ruler here. Let's have a look and see. 19 and a half centimeters exactly. Let's see the posh toilet. I think it's ever so slightly bigger. Yeah, it's actually like a few millimetres under 20 centimetres. So this is about half a centimetre bigger. So nothing like majorly noticeable. I think the width is the same, but let's see. The posh toilette is 25 exactly. And the toiletry pouch, that is, yeah, 25 exactly as well. So yeah, size wise they are pretty identical so let me know what you guys think which piece you prefer is this worth the price increase to you would you choose this instead of this if you could choose both this is a lot more accessible on the website with the toiletry pouch it was one of those things you had to refresh the website for constantly whereas this has been available for a few weeks constantly now since it's come out and in store it's available in most of the stores in my area that i've checked so I guess there is that, because that was one issue I did have with Louis Vuitton, that things were so hard to get hold of that it sort of made them less desirable. But yeah, what do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please subscribe to my channel so you can see more from me and check out my Instagram and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.